Lighter chest and delts day. It's my deload day. Had to take an extra rest day, so I'm like a day behind on my split. Almost took another rest day today, but had to had to get it so I wouldn't fall farther behind. Just two. What did I bench? 240 today, and why 240 instead of just 225? Just because that's kind of my plan. Is because I want to work my way up to uh, hitting a a two rep PR, which would be 380. So that's 365 plus five and 2.5 on each side. So I started with 225 plus the fives and the 2.5 on each side. So I'll basically be going up like 225, 275, 315, except I'm gonna have that little, those little extra weights on the side. So that way it's just like I'm adding, just like I'm going up by a 25 and a 45. But then once I get up to, uh, up to the the PR weight that 380 it'll just be like the same thing on the bar so this feel like nice even jumps in weight so that's kind of my thought process behind that some dumbbell press I only went up to the 90s today nice and uh, nice and easy even felt a little heavy that's why I know I need I need like a real D load that's why I'm like really doing a D load this time because everything feels heavy I just feel like super weak all the time. So time for a real serious deload. Doesn't mean it's a bad workout. It's a great workout today. It's just lighter weight, lighter weight. Focus on, you know, that mind muscle connection. Focus on getting a pump. The shoulder portion, it, it was nice to just kind of like feel that pump, get the burn going a little bit. Not really worrying about going heavy or pushing too hard or anything like that. Just focusing on the muscle and not the weight. So a deload day, deload week, however long it takes to, to deload and work back up. It's always nice. It's kind of a change of pace. You can focus on something a little bit different. So probably only got like a month, maybe two months tops before I'm thinking about cutting. So kind of got to get myself to enjoy this. I think one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to put off today and I was thinking about taking another rest day is just like I've been I never bench consistently and then the last 10 months I've benched consistently for 10 months straight that's way longer than I've ever done before like I used to say like the longest I would ever bench consistently was a month and a half tops it's usually more like a month and then my shoulder would hurt or whatever and I'd stop benching so that's why I never really had a big bench until now I, you know, I changed my, my approach and I put together 10 months of consistency. That's why I was able to hit 405. And since 405, I've kind of hit a wall. I've plateaued, haven't been able to break it. But still 10 months straight, I'm not used to that. I'm not really built for the bench press either. My arms are too long. 
like I'm just too long and I don't have like a barrel chest either. So I don't really have like any of the things that would give you a big, that would like make you built for bench press. Honestly, I'm probably more built for deadlift. I just never got into deadlifting. But I don't want to get into deadlifting either. I think I've, I almost got into it again. And then I was like, oh, I'm not going to do this. I don't want to hurt myself. It's just not worth it to me. I think that that would be my, my best lift by far though. If I actually was consistent with the deadlift. Just cause like the long arms that cuts down that range of motion. I can't even squat and mess up my hip. I always have like at least a little bit of hip pain these days. So I avoid squat at all costs. So I think deadlift would have been my best lift, but the only one I still do is uh, bench press. And besides that, I try and focus on bodybuilding. I try and get like the best muscle development that I can get. At this point, it's probably not gonna be much. I've been working out for a long time naturally. So I gotta be, I gotta be getting towards the limit, but I am the heaviest I've ever been. Maybe I can have the best cut. I've really only done one like actual cut. So we'll see, maybe the second actual cut will be a great one. We'll have to find out this summer, but solid workout. The pump wasn't really there. I didn't even really like the way the pump looked. You know, and I kind of, I only did a few little quick poses, just kind of flexed real quick. I didn't really like it, but still a solid workout. Anytime that you don't want to work out and you do it anyway, it's pretty solid. So what do I got tomorrow? Tomorrow's back day. And maybe I'll have a better back day than normal just because, like I said, my split's off a day. So maybe today's kind of like my off day and today's usually back day. So maybe I'll have one of the best back days I've had in a while tomorrow. So looking forward to seeing how that goes.